Hey what's up guys, I am Nishtil and welcome to my first ever video unboxing and overview of the Asus TUF A15 gaming laptop. So to start off, we get a box and this is the box you got you guys can see here. This is the box and in this box we get we get the laptop and a astonishing 150 watt power adapter which is insane. So talking about the design and build quality, the laptop feels very rigid and it stands up to its name, the ASUS TUF follows a honeycomb design as you guys can see in the back here it is a honeycomb design here which is super cool to see the hinge here is super good and sometimes you can't even try to even no, it never even tries to bend itself that's how good it is it weighs around 2.3 kgs and the bezels are less while coming to its ports on the right side it's having uh, one USB 2.0 and a Kingston lock and in the left we are having uh, one HDMI port, one RJ45 port, one Ethernet port and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and one Type-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack so that's a lot of ports except there is no SD card readers. When we come to the keyboard, the keyboard is super good and it is having a very clicky feel and the key travel distance is super good and you guys can expect a best RGB light keyboard. This is a very good RGB keyboard and it's, it is also having the Aura Sync and you can customize everything you need in the Aura Sync which is super good. So while we come to touchpad, the touchpad is very smooth but it's actually kind of small compared to normal laptops but you can get the job done and the best part is it also has a physical click buttons which is super good in this touchpad you guys have the windows precision drivers which are totally updated and which is very good and the keyboard it is having a numpad and a full keyboard which is super good and when you come to the screen the screen is having a 144 hz 1080p full hd display which is which looks super good and the edges everything is super good the color gamut is the drawback here it is having a 45 percent ntsc gamut which means uh, you can't pretty much do editing but you can do editing very you can do editing very good but the color correction all the color reproduction stuff it's not it's not going to be so good and you can't notice the difference so easy it's having a 87 percent screen is to body ratio and it is having an anti glare display so while you while, while you guys watching any movie you just came in and on the other side there is a light it won't get affected because it's having an anti glare display so now welcome to specs this is having a ryzen 5 4600h processor a gdx 1650 and 32 megahertz 8GB RAM which is super fast Ryzen 5 4600H beats the, the i5 10th gen with ease in every prospect and it even beats i7 9th gen in most of the ways but it can't beat i7 10th gen so it is awesome when it comes to performance and maximum clock speed is 4GHz and the minimum clock speed is 3GHz which runs very fast but the back side here is, is it's a 35 watt CPU so it consumes battery 4600H is having a 6 core 12 thread CPU that is good for editing, gaming, anything you do it will be fast now coming into the benchmarks it is super good super smooth and as this laptop is gaming uh, it games really well it can play any game in 1080p with 60fps When it comes to multimedia and productivity, the device supports HDR playback, which is amazing. The colors are very contrasty, and you guys can really go. You guys gonna have really good experience. Although 
as I told you guys, he's going to be having a 45% NTSC camera. You can watch all the uh, any movies and 1080p, it plays very good. When it comes to YouTube playback, you can watch it to 4K 60fps, it, it won't lag. And it supports HDR playback, which is awesome. And while you come to the battery, this has a uh, okay battery because uh, it is having a 48 watt hour battery. And as the display is 144 Hz, it will last up to 3 to 4 hours. But there is a game changer here. You guys can pump it, pump the refresh rate to 60 Hz. And I saw a massive increase in the battery life with all the uh, RGB lights off and the brightness set to 40 percent it can last you up to four to five to six hours to be precise it's having a 720p camera you can attend online classes with ease the clarity is very good and it is awesome if you guys want a dedicated gaming review you you, you should subscribe to my channel I, it takes a lot of hard work to do this if you are liking this review please subscribe and it helps me a lot and while we are jumping onto the thermals of this laptop the thermals are quite good uh they, although there is a life hack that you can do uh the thermals actually reach around 80 degrees if if you're playing like this but if you just keep uh, two or three books and just incline it like this you, the highest temperature i saw was around 58 degrees that is a massive decrease in the CPU temperature and very high increase in performance. Overall, this laptop is amazing for gaming productivity and you can you can you guys can even upgrade it in the future. And the best part is this, this is still having an 8GB RAM, but you guys can upgrade the RAM to 32 GB, which is insane and it's gonna be super fast and you can you can use this laptop for minimum four to five years which is insane and for a price tag of 64,000, this is a really good laptop the response time they're telling it's 20 millisecond response time although it's having a 144 hertz display delay in the games otherwise you're not even gonna notice you're gonna feel it's super good and it is very smooth when it comes to gaming because it's having a 144 hertz screen you're not gonna notice any millisecond lag. This is literally one of the best laptops you can find in this price range. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. This is my first video. There's gonna be more videos coming soon about gaming, editing, all that stuff. So thanks for watching. Peace out.